Your CS exam or coding interview is in seven days. You've got 12 topics, 37 algorithms, and a stack of panic taller than your commit history. Imagine this instead. You open your laptop, read a problem, and your brain writes the cleanest solution before your cursor even blinks. No sweat, no freeze. Just precise logic and speed. This is the illegal way to study computer science. Once you learn it, you'll never be a mere mortal coder again. Let's go. Why CS feels impossible and why it's not. CS looks hard because it mixes. Abstract concepts, graphs, big O. Syntax annoyances, one missing semicolon equals chaos. Problem solving patterns that feel like magic. System level thinking where small mistakes compound. But Truth Bomb CS is pattern recognition plus deliberate practice, not raw genius. You don't need to memorize everything. You need the right system to turn concepts into instincts. The Advanced System to Study CS, Illegal Edition. Step 1. Code Movies. Visualize the algorithm. Stop memorizing. Simulate. Turn algorithms into tiny movies in your brain. Example. Merge sort. Two teams split the array like a battle plan. Each team sorts their part. The merge is a conveyor belt that picks the smallest each step. Why it works? Your brain remembers sequences and visuals, but not dry pseudocode. Make the algorithm a scene and it'll stick. Step 2. Prioritize high-yield concepts, HYC. Not all topics are equal. Use this rule. 1. Core patterns, arrays, pointers, recursion, hashing, dynamic programming, graphs. Two. Interview or exam classics, two-pointer sliding window, DFS or BFS, sorting, hashing tricks. Three, system concepts, complexity analysis, memory, recursion versus iteration, API design. Focus 80% on these. The rest is seasoning. Step three, trace, dry run, then code. Before you type, trace. Literally hand trace the algorithm. Write variable states per step. Draw pointers and indices. Predict outputs for edge cases. Why? Tracing builds intuition. When you trace first, coding becomes copying a mental script. Faster, cleaner, fewer bugs. Step four, pattern library equals your CS DNA. Build a two column cheat sheet. Left, problem type, e.g. find subarray with some K. Right, pattern or solution, sliding window, prefix sums. Every new problem, add one line. After 30 problems, you'll see themes. Stop solving new problems. Start matching patterns like a pro. Step five, active recall plus code flashcards. Active recall for CS looks like, flashcard front, when to use a try. Back, use cases, complexity, quick sketch. Make cards for algorithm steps, complexities, tricky edge cases, common errors, command line git flow. Use Anki for spaced repetition. Your syntax plus patterns will survive months. Step six, the problem solving pyramid, don't skip. Build skill in levels. Level one, read solved examples, understand flow. Level two, easy problems, one to two patterns. Level three, Medium, combined patterns, edge cases. Level four, hard plus optimization. Time slash space trade-offs. Always climb the pyramid. Jumping to level four first, waste time and morale. Step seven, 60 minute code sprints, the four by 15 method. Use focused sprints. 15 minutes equals read and plan, trace plus pseudo. 25 minutes equals implement and test local cases. 10 minutes equals optimize plus complexity check. 10 minutes equals write final clean solution plus comments. This trains you to think under pressure like interviews and timed exams. Step eight, debug like a surgeon. When your code fails, one, reproduce the failing case. Two, print variable states or use debugger. Three, bisect. Comment out halves to isolate bug. Four, 
fix, then write a test that would have caught it. Treat debugging as part of problem solving, not punishment. Step 9. Build micro projects. Apply to remember. Apply concepts immediately. Implement a mini DB for hash maps. Build a tiny root finder using BFS. Make a little visualizer that animates sorting. Projects convert abstract patterns into muscle memory. Code plus build equals locked knowledge. Step 10. Space plus mock interviews equals retention and pressure proofing. Schedule. Day 1. Learn topic plus practice easy problems. Day 2. Recall plus medium problems. Day 4. Mock interview or timed test. Day 7. Final rapid fire review. Do timed mocks weekly. Do at least one pair program session or mock interview to simulate real pressure. Step 11. The CS Vault, your competitive edge. Create your vault. Your weaponized study repo. Short summaries, your words, for each algorithm. Pattern cheat sheet. Common bugs plus fixes. 20 go-to problems per pattern with tags. Mini projects and their code. Mock interview recordings plus feedback. Treat this repo like your CS Excalibur. Update it every time you learn something new. Step 12. Identity switch. Code like an engineer. Stop saying, I'm bad at algorithms. Start saying, I solve one pattern every day. Bugs are feedback, not failure. I build systems, not memorize lines. Your identity drives practice. Act like the engineer you want to become. The behavior follows. Quick hacks bonus. Memorize big O cheat cards for constant time recall. Use templates for common problems. Input parsing. DFS scaffold. Rename variables clearly. Clarity kills bugs. Commit solutions to GitHub with short notes. Revision gold. Use rubrics. Correctness. Complexity. Edge cases. Style. You're closer than you think. While others panic and copy-paste, you're building a system. One pattern, one sprint, one vault entry at a time. Mastery arrives faster than most expect. You're not cramming, you're engineering your brain. Let's turn you into a coding machine that thinks, debugs, and builds fast stuff. Drop a comment. Which pattern are you dominating this week? Arrays, DP, graphs, or recursion? Best comment gets pinned and I'll drop a mini deep dive video. Smash that like if you want a 10 problem CS sprint playlist next week. Save this before your next exam or interview. Subscribe. Next week we build a CS memory palace for algorithms. It's wild. Peace out, code beast.